my brother and I gave a talk at um, Wake Forest University, and we go around to different medical schools and give talks to family physicians at times. So what I like to do is I like to get a sense of what do they know about diet and exercise. So I always ask. We were with a group of 50 physicians, okay, primary care doctors. I said, who in this room had any training in nutrition, either in undergrad or through medical school? Guess how many hands went up out of 50? One. Then I, said, then I said to him, I said, well, who here has any education in exercise, you know, either in undergraduate training or in medical training? No hands went up. Yet, people are being told, you know, talk to your doctor, you know, before you do any exercise or diet. We are the ones that are really on the front lines of that. We know more than any physician knows about exercise and diet, most of us, right? So that's part of what this is about, because we're going to be the ones educating people about this new way of doing things, not their physicians. Jill Coleman, uh, she has her master's in nutrition. She's a uh, ACSM certified, AFA certified, a bunch of other certifications. Fitness model, you know, Jill's very impressive. <laughs> huh? She's my wife. Oh. <laughs> She's a guy that yeah. <laughs> and uh, Gary Lee. Um, he has his uh, Bachelor of Science, and Gary's really interesting because he put, he is a, a past championship bodybuilder, so you might say, well, what's a bodybuilder doing putting their influence on a workout like this? Well, it's been amazing to have him on board because if you look at bodybuilders, right, and I'm not talking about the drug-enhanced bodybuilders, I'm talking about natural bodybuilders. They're the one population in the world that knows how to burn fat at will. Everyone else knows how to get fat at will. They know how to burn <laughs> fat at will, right? So. Gary has really been able to bring that to bear on this, this workout, and it's really made the workout better. So I just want you guys to kind of get an understanding of who we are. This picture is really sums up what metabolic effect is all about in one picture, okay? There's a question at the top, and it says, who is most muscular? You have two athletes. This guy is a sprinter. This guy is a marathon runner. You can look at this, right? It's obvious who's more muscular to all of us, right? We can say the sprinter definitely has more muscle. But in case you were in doubt, I just put a reference there so you can see that. <laughs> now, this is the part that you know may not, may not be as obvious to you, but who is leaner? And by leaner, what I mean is which of these two athletes has a lower body fat percent? If we took a group of sprinters, put them on, and tested their body fat percent, and we took a group of marathon runners, and tested their body fat percent, who on average would have lower fat? So someone says sprinter, who thinks marathon runner? Okay, so a couple people say marathon. Most people say marathon runner, right? And the truth is, athletes are different. So, you know, you compare any two athletes, but on average, the sprinter has a lower body fat percent than a marathon runner, okay? Now, here's the interesting thing. Which of these two activities burns more calories? This marathon runner burns thousands of calories and exercises for hours, right? This sprinter exercises for seconds to minutes depending on their event. And that's both training for and engaging in their sport. Sprinters, when they train for their sport, they don't go run for long periods of time. They do interval type track workouts and things like that. So here's the thing. If this burns way more calories, yet the sprinter has lower body fat percent and more muscle, then Something is wrong with what all the doctors and so-called experts have been telling us for so long that it's all about calories. Because if it's all about calories, how can that be? How can it be that a sprinter would be leaner than a marathon runner? So right away, that should put some, some hopefully, I think, doubt in your mind about, wow, is it really all about calories? So, I want to just kind of take a bit of a side now. A lot of times people say, well, what is metabolic effect? And a lot of the instructors are like, I don't know. So it's like boot camp, right? <laughs> it's, what's the difference between metabolic effect and boot camp? Do you guys know what the major difference? Boot camp is go, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going, keep up, keep up, keep up, do some more, do some more, do some more, keep going, keep going, keep going, come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. That's boot camp, right? So in other words, they essentially boot camp wants you to just go. Keep going, keep going, do not stop. Metabolic effect is all about rest-based training. It's the rest is the important part. And that's what separates the metabolic effect from any other group exercise class in existence right now. As far as I know, we're the only class that is doing this. So you guys are one of the first groups of instructors who are going to learn this 
this technology. But what is it in general? It's metabolic conditioning is what it is. So what is metabolic conditioning? Metabolic conditioning is <clears throat> really a new fitness approach. And essentially what it, what it says is it's not, about, it's not about making people run longer. It's not about you know, aerobic, you know, um, making you more aerobically capable, even though it will do some of that. It's not about making you stronger. It's, it will do that, but that's not its focus. It's not about you know, necessarily giving you more endurance or any of that. You know what it's about? It's about fat loss, period. That's what it's about. Essentially what we're trying to do is burn as many calories as we can in the workout, but more importantly, which I'm going to show you in a minute, more important than calories even is changing the hormones during the workout. And I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. But its two primary goals are for fat loss, and then it will improve performance for people who are kind of aerobic athletes who, you know, are maybe you run a marathon or triathlon and you haven't been able to increase your times. By training anaerobically at times, which is really super aerobic. If you're anaerobic, right, you're already aerobic. It's just you're a little bit more than aerobic now. Does everyone kind of understand that? Because that's one of these things that a lot of people don't understand. They think aerobic and anaerobic are completely different things. If you're anaerobic, you're automatically aerobic. However, if you're aerobic, you're not anaerobic. And it's this anaerobic part, getting the heart rate up, getting that burning effect in the muscles that stimulates the fat loss effect. So here's the difference. Most other group exercise classes, most other classes, they're about calories. I'm not saying calories don't matter. They do matter. But metabolic effect is about hormones. And let me kind of put it to you this way. If I tell you guys, go on a low calorie diet and exercise more, you know this for yourself and you know this with all your clients, what happens? There's only so much they can keep themselves from eating and there's only so much exercise they can fit in the day. And what happens after about a week on a low calorie, high aerobic exercise program, what happens? You're fighting yourself, right? You're like, well, I know those chips are in there, but I can't eat them. But they're in there, but I can't eat them. I gotta go have a chip. And then you can go back. That's kind of what we're used to. What if we could change the hormones in our body to make us less likely to want that stuff, to lift our mood a little bit. You heard of serotonin and dopamine? These are drugs that doctors give you if you have low mood or lack of motivation. Metabolic effect impacts those hormones. So if we can change hormones, we can automatically lower calories, okay? Because you're gonna be more satisfied, less hungry, less likely to go binge on pizza, okay? Fat loss versus weight loss, are they the same thing? They are not the same thing, and this is the problem. The reason why, if you focus on calories, what you're doing is you're focusing on weight loss. So you will lose weight. It's just that you may or may not lose fat. Most of the time, if you go on a low calorie diet, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lose some fat, yes, but you're also gonna lose muscle. And what happens is, we all know this, right? The metabolism is less efficient because of that, and then we age, and we're like, you know, I used to go to Weight Watchers and it worked great for me, but now I try the same thing and it doesn't work, and oh, I'm just getting older. Well, not necessarily. A lot of research actually shows that it's because you've been losing muscle mass for year after year after year. So fat loss, metabolic effect is really about fat loss. The other difference about metabolic effect is the me, right? The acronym for metabolic effect is ME, which essentially means the workout is all about the individual. That's why when we were doing the workout and I was taking you through the workout, how many of you thought I was talking right to you, right? I saw you drop the weights, I said, that's the way to drop those weights. I saw you get water, I would say, that's the way to get water. That's the way to take your rest. That's the way, that's the way, that's the way. The reason why is because it is the way, because you are 100% different. Someone might reach their maximum anaerobic capacity by walking across this room. Right? Someone else may need to sprint a thousand times across this room to reach their anaerobic capacity. So the idea is you can have all fitness levels in here, right? And certain people are going to rest a lot more than others, you know? And that's really what it's about. So it's really adjusted to the individual. That's why the rest-based concept is so important. If you go to a boot camp format in this class, you're not, you're no longer matching it to the individual, okay? It's the rest-based approach that makes that possible. 